Come on, where? Bailey was raking leaves! And Angora thinks they're deep enough to jump in! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! I love to jump in the leaves! You told Teeny it was deep enough. Yeah. Not nice, Angora. Hey, I said I thought they were deep enough. I didn't lie. No, but you stretch the truth, and that can cause serious trouble. Remember when Chloe and Zoe almost ruined Horseland forever? Yes, Shep. I mean, no, Shep. What happened? Well, it all started bright and early one morning. Everybody. Dawn ride? Meet at the stables at six? Says so right here on the schedule. Hello? Hey, Molly. Will, how come I'm the only one who showed up for the Dawn ride? Because it got moved to next Tuesday. <sighs> oh, man. Seems like these Horseland schedules are getting harder to keep track of. You can say that again. Ooh, I would, but I'm too sleepy. Well, something has to be done. Like what? Like it's time for Horseland to join the 21st century. Like how? Come by the stables in a few hours and you'll see. Thanks for coming, everybody. What's this all about, Molly? You may have noticed, it's getting harder and harder to keep track of everything going on at Horseland. That's for sure. Well, it's time to do something about it. How are we going to do that? We're going to start communicating. We're going to join the 21st century. We're going to have a website. How's that going to help? We'll post a daily schedule. We'll share up-to-the-minute news and information about Horseland. Sounds like a good idea, Molly. We could even post our own videos starring us. And people who aren't near a computer can pick up a daily printout. We could have a comic strip. Maybe Will could do a blog with horse tips? Yeah, I guess I could. We can even give safety tips for using the internet. Yeah, like always ask your mom or dad before going online. And never give out personal information, like your full name and address. Perfect! So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Let's, Let's get do it! it. Because of recent wildfires, this year's meadow ride will take the East Trail. I'll do a story on the Horseland Riding Facilities. The key to dressage is color coordination. Pick the wrong combination and nothing can help. Like, tan and gray are so last season. Triple A rating from the State Riders Association. Dear Sarah, what's the best way to calm a nervous horse? Signed, Concern. Dear Concern, your horse won't trust you if you don't trust yourself. Uh, if you let the stirrups get too long, it makes it harder to sit right and control your horse. harder to sit right and control your horse. Uh, so don't do that. Nice work, Will. Where's our video? It's next. So, what do you think? Well, it was 
was, uh, um, was... What did it have to do with Horseland? What do you mean? We're part of Horseland, aren't we? It was about us. I think that's the point. The website should be about things that matter to everyone at Horseland. Yeah, yeah, like community interest stories. Well, we can do that. Yeah, we can do community interest. Great. Let's get together tomorrow with new projects. This is going to be great. Can we find community interest stories? How hard can it be? This is hard. Oh. Too bad there aren't any movie stars living around here. Yeah, that'd make a great story. And you know, there is a star who lives around here. Who? Catrice Claire. Who? Well, she's not a star star, but she helped you make up for a car commercial last year. That's practically a star. Yeah. Who knew that one of the most important people in the movie business was living right next door to Horseland. That's right, a major Hollywood personality. And she has an ultra-secret private getaway right in our own backyard. Hold on. I've never heard of any movie stars living around here. Well, duh. That's what makes it an ultra-secret. Who is this person? Yeah, what's her name? Uh, sorry, can't say. Yeah, she made us promise not to tell who she was. Oh, I think I know who it is. You do? Lucy DiCarlo, right? Oh, yeah, Lucy DiCarlo, right. Can we see where she lives? No, we promise to respect her privacy. Right, a reporter's word is important. I'm impressed with your skills as investigative journalist. So what's your next big news story? Oh, just wait and see. Yeah, it's going to top this one by a mile. Come on, tell us. Go on, Zoe. You tell them. Nah, I'll let you. Okay, then I will. It's about a bear that we saw near Horseland. Yeah, a bear uh, earlier today. A bear? Really? I haven't seen a bear around here in a long time. <laughs> well, hey, that's what makes it news, right? <gasps> a bear? Yeah, a bear, Will. Just today. Well, it wasn't a big bear, just a cub. Really, a cute little guy. Yeah, a lost cub. That's worse. Why? If we have a lost cub, there's a mother out looking for it. And that could mean trouble. You gotta tell me where you saw it. Well, we didn't exactly quote unquote see the. Up on Charlton's Ridge! I better check it out. Chloe, you and Zoe should go with Will and get video. I'd love to, Molly, but, um, Pepper has a tender ankle. Yeah, and I'm way behind on my blog. You know, for the website. Well, I'm the editor, so if there's news, I'll go. It's kinda late, but we can head out first thing in the morning. Don't worry, Molly. We'll take good care of the website while you're gone. You can count on us. Let's go and find that bear cub, Molly. Got my camera. So, Zoe, what's tomorrow's lead story? It's got to be bigger than a bear. What about the forest fire? What forest fire? The one rushing down the mountain towards Horseland? What? Where? Well, it was last year. But hey, it'd still make a great story. I guess. All of the details will be true. We'll just have to change the date. This is going to be the most exciting sight on the whole entire absolute web. Whoa, Scarlet! Let's see if my newest blog is posted yet. Dear Sarah, what's the hottest stable around? Hey, that's not what I wrote. What is this? Chloe? Zoe? Yeah, Sarah? 
How did you get a picture of Will and Molly with a bear when they just left to go find it? We made it on the computer. Looks pretty good, huh? But it's dishonest. Look, Sarah, nobody's gonna read this website if it's dull. Look at the hits. We've more than doubled our readers since the changes. But you're lying. Sarah, you don't understand the news business. It's not about telling the truth. It's about getting a big audience. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Kind of steep through here. No one said reporting the news would be easy. This is where they said, but there are no tracks. Hey! Molly! Will! Hold on! <gasps> Molly, don't move! We're okay, Will. Ow! Can you bend it? A little. Well, it doesn't feel broken, but we better get you to a doctor to make sure. Molly! What happened? Just a sprain, I hope. Did you find the bear? No, we didn't see anything. Maybe it was just a big raccoon we saw. Yeah, a squirrel or whatever. Come here, you have to see this. The website traffic has tripled! Bears? Fires? What, what have you done here? These stories aren't real. They're not true. Hey, they're mostly true. This isn't right. When I get back from the doctor, we'll talk. All our hard work and nobody appreciates it. While Molly's away, we'll get some stories so big, nobody can give us grief. Look at that puppy, digging holes everywhere. He's worse than a gopher. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, we're thinking it. Come on, let's go. What are they up to? I don't know, but I doubt it's any good. <laughs> I still can't believe some of the stories they posted. You're going to have to set things right. I know, but at least their tales were sort of harmless. What's up, Sarah? There's trouble at Horseland. What's wrong? Just come on, now! Let's go! <laughs> What's the State Riders Association doing here? All they'd say is there's some violation. Hold on. They want us to wait out here. For what? There are some people from the State Riders Association here. They're inspecting the place for safety violations. Horseland could lose its AAA rating. The whole place might close. Are you serious, Bailey? If the rating falls below C, the association will move the horses to another ranch. <gasps> this is so unfair. They can't do this. It's not like there are really any safety problems at Horseland. Yeah? How would you know? Oh, well, we just know. This is the safest place on the planet. So why would this breaking news be on our site? Fences are an important part of the stable, but poor maintenance turns them into accidents waiting to happen. Gopher holes. 
to a horse theming a twisted ankle to a rider disaster. Whoa, whoa, Horseland is not like that. People looking at the website don't know that. Someone out there called the Riders Association. Looks like someone's been busy working overtime on our website. Well, um, we didn't mean to cause a problem. We just uh, exaggerated things a little. A little? A little lot. How'd you make the place look so bad? With the rusty nail and the scrap heap. It wasn't on any fence. And let me guess, you dug the gopher holes yourselves. Yeah, and it took forever. Chloe, you know the horses could have been hurt. Hey, we were going to fill them back in when those inspector people showed up. This is bad. It's hard to fix a reputation once it's been damaged. We never dreamed we'd cause harm to Horseland. It's just, the bigger the story was, the more interested people were. We'd do anything to fix this, but we don't know what to do. <laughs> ah! Hey, careful, Calypso. That costs a lot of money. I have an idea how to fix this. How's that? The same way it started, with the news report. This time a true one. Can I borrow this? Well, I guess if you're careful. Come on, you two. It's time to set the record straight. Okay, guys, I finished. See what you think. Go, go, go! Today we're revisiting a horseland report to show you how easy it is to manipulate reality. Only telling part of the story is not the same as telling the real story. Concern was raised about broken fences. But the fences around horseland are fine. And the gopher holes? Gopher holes to a horse they mean a twisted ankle to a rider. Disaster! Looks like the gopher's got a bad rap. Those holes were dug by humans. Exciting stories get people's attention. But it takes the truth to get their trust. Yeah, and the truth is, Horseland is totally safe. So safe that we thought it was boring. We are sorry for misleading everyone. It's a good thing the Writers Association agreed to look at the webcast. I can't believe how dirty I got filling those phony gopher holes. Dirty? I actually, ugh, sweated. Hey, I won't bend the truth ever again because I never again want to go through that. Hey, at least you got some good screen time. And at least Horseland got its good name back. That's yeah, what Cat you bet for sure. Finally. So you see, Angora, you bend the truth, you'll break it. And truth is a mighty precious thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, teeny copy. Can you forgive me? Oh, of course we do. <gasps> hey, look over there. Now there's a leaf pile that's honestly deep enough to jump in. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Wait for me! I want to jump in it, too! Hey!
Watch it, pig. What do you think you're doing? Angora! Guess that'll do it from here. See you around. Hey, save some of that leaf jumping fun for me. I love spring. It's just chock full of promise and new beginnings. You're too shy, Teeny. Think assertive. Speak loud and clear. Let no one interrupt you. But isn't that rude? Is that a worm talking? Or a very large pig? I am not a very large pig. Proportionally, I am exactly the right size for a pig my age. Oh, so assertive! Brava, porca, brava! Good! I'm so glad my new phone works out here at Horseland. I can't wait to call everyone I know. <laughs> Can you give me Nani's number? Okay. Got it. Thanks. Hey, you. How's my girl? Oh, Scarlet, did I ever miss you? Have a nice carrot button. Yum, that's a good girl. And what a day we have planned. Do we ever? Nani's getting her first Horseland Spring Tour. Hello? Molly? Where are you? Right behind you. You got a cell phone? I saved enough of my allowance money, so my parents finally deemed me mature enough to have my own cell phone. But really, I think they were just tired of me always borrowing theirs. Let me see. Ooh, nice color. Are you kidding? That would clash so badly with my lip gloss. Guess you better not be borrowing it then. Got your speed dial set up yet? Uh, no. Mine first. Not to detract from Molly's entrance into the 21st century. Hello, Amber? Hi. We're about to go out on a ride. Can I call you back? Okay, bye. You need better ringtones. Give me that. Let me see what you've got. Today is Nani's spring tour. And we put together a really delicious picnic lunch. No way. Please. Hello, picnic? Excuse me. That's great. Nani will love it. That one. I love it. It's like the Kentucky Derby. Now you have to set personal ringtones for each of us. I'll help you pick. Don't worry. Come on, Alma. Let's get our saddles. <laughs> Be right there, Calypso. New phone. Congratulations. How's my big, handsome guy? We have a surprise for you two. You do? What? You'll see. Just get ready to ride. Listen, Jazz, I gotta go. I'll help you later, okay? Okay, bye. Hello? Hey, Amber, I just had a call from Jasmine. She's having major computer problems. So you think maybe she accidentally saved the file on the wrong drive? Okay, I'll give her a call. Molly, we're heading out on the North Trail, okay? Jazz, it's me. Calm down, it's gotta be somewhere. Go folder by folder. Check every drive. What exactly are we looking for? Oh, you know, wild things. Shh. Look, make way for quails. Over there. Oh, let's go see. Shh. What? <laughs> Why are you whispering? We were watching a fawn stand up for the first time. We're on our way. Where are you? Too late now. We'll meet you at the crossroads, okay? Okay. <laughs> that was fun. I'm setting my ring really low. Good me idea. Too. Hey, guys. So, 
Oh, have you seen... Seen what? Oh, wait. It's a surprise. Come on, girl. Jazz, did you find your file? You think you deleted it for good? Calm down, we'll get it back. Here's what you need to do. Yes, Molly. Speed now works. Bye. Are you going to say something? If we don't tell her how rude she's being, how will she know? Remember when you got your first phone? Oh, yeah. Talking way too loud. Taking calls in movies and restaurants. And loud, obnoxious ringtones. She's got it bad. Wish me luck. Uh, Molly, I know how much you love your new phone, but maybe you could turn it off for a while? Why? Well, we're out in nature, and it's kind of rude to be calling people all the time. Rude? rude? Besides, we haven't seen you-know-what yet, and you're the only one who can ever spot it, Molly. She's got a point. We can show you texting later. Come on, Molly. Look, I'm sorry if I'm being rude, but Jasmine's lost her English paper, and it's due Monday. I promised I'd be there for her. Hi, Jazz. Did it work? No luck. Did you check your recycle bin? What's a recycle bin? Jasmine, I can't believe you. <sighs> we all went through it, right? Two days, Max, and we'll have our old Molly back. Thank you so much. You've showed me a whole new side to Horseland. I wish we hadn't run out of daylight. I wanted to be able to show you the surprise, but maybe next time? Maybe next time we'll leave our cell phones at home, or at least turn them off. <sighs> I'm cold. Race you back to the stable. You're Come going. On, yeah. Let's go. Come on, boy. After a long ride, we need to keep you warm. Let's get you rubbed down and get your blanket on. Good night, big guy. <coughs> night, Molly. Night. Hi, Jazz. What's up? I thought you got everything restored. Hello? Your battery's running low. There might still be a way to save it, but it's due tomorrow, Jazz. You're running out of time. Bye, Molly. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I gotta run. Call you from the bus, okay? Amber, shouldn't you be at your party? No, you definitely can't look too dressed up. The sequin jeans are hot. What do you wear on top? Nah, a t-shirt's way too casual. Wait a sec. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna miss my bus. Gotta go, Am. Bye, Calypso girl. See you tomorrow. She forgot, Calypso. She didn't mean to. Who'd leave a wet horse without a blanket in a cold barn when it's freezing outside? She forgot because she doesn't care. She doesn't love me anymore. At least not as much as she loves that darn cell phone. <laughs> Don't say that. It's not true. This is spring. I was just practicing what Angora taught me. I am just as important as you, and I deserve just the same respect. <sighs> Sunburst didn't mean anything. We're worried about Calypso. Be nice to have a little quiet, that's all. Right. 
You horses can whinny and snort, but the lowly pig... Teeny, aren't you listening? Calypso's freezing. She's got no blanket. Oh, uh, oh, gee, I, I didn't realize. Stay calm. I'll be back. Oh, Calypso, I am so sorry. <laughs> This better be good, Chef. <laughs> Calypso! Hold on, little gal. Good boy, Chef. Don't worry, Calypso. We'll get you warm again. This never should have happened. You never turn down a carrot. And Molly never forgets your blanket. Come sun up, I'll make sure this never happens to you again. Morning, girls. Hey, Calypso, how you feeling? Oh, girl. New horse land policy. No cell phones in the stable. What? No way! We can't exist without our cell phones. When you're here, you gotta be paying attention to nothing but your horses. That's the rule. This is outrageous! Maybe illegal. Still not hungry? Did something happen to Calypso? Yep. Molly forgot to put her blanket on. We all know why. That stupid cell phone. Will Calypso be all right? I hope so. But she's still not eating. Will, we all get kind of silly the first time we get a cell phone. Yeah, Molly takes better care of her horse than any of us. I agree, Will. We'll talk to her. Whoa. What's going on? Jasmine, still trying to save her English paper. Hi, Jazz. Did you get the old or the new version back? You're supposed to click Restore. Hang it up. We have to talk to you about Calypso. Shh. I don't understand what you did wrong. Maybe tonight I can come over, OK? Sorry, what's up? You forgot to put Calypso's blanket on her last night. Jazz, I know it's due tomorrow. I am here for you. Molly, we have to talk to you. Can't you see I'm on the phone? We'll get her to listen, I promise. There she is! Hey, Mom! Hey! Who's going first today? My girl seems a little tired this morning. You still don't know what happened last night, do you? What? Yeah? Molly, we have to talk to you. It's about Calypso. Sorry, Jasmine is having a meltdown. I can't listen to two people at once. Jazz, I'm about to start jumping practice. Okay, who goes first? I'll do it. Great, Jazz. You're making some progress. Thank goodness for this cell phone. No cell phones. No cell phones. Right, gotta go. Sorry. Amber, I'll call you back. I programmed a new ringtone for Amber last night. I had no idea it was so loud. Loud? Obnoxious is more like it. That's it, Molly. Hand it over. What? Are you two okay? You all right, Scarlet? <clears throat> the phone. No, I can't do it. <gasps> Molly, Sarah almost fell because of you and that danged phone. I know, and I'm really sorry. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'll put it on vibrate mode, okay? Fine, but if I hear one beep out of that thing... Jasmine, I really can't talk. 
Oh, no! Don't do anything, okay? I'll come help you after practice. You're up, Molly. I hope Molly can concentrate on what she's doing. it doesn't. What did you say? Let's help her out, shall we? Hey! Give that back! Not until you hear us out. Molly, you need a cell phone intervention and you need it bad. Look, I'm sorry. I meant to mute my phone, but then Jasmine called and she was so upset, I forgot. Nope, Molly. Doesn't fly. You put us all in danger with this thing. Not to mention, you've been really rude to everybody and you don't even know it. Look, we all love our phones, but you aren't being Molly anymore. <laughs> don't be silly. Would the Molly we know and love forget Clipso's blanket on a freezing cold night? If Will hadn't checked on her, she could be really sick right now. But Calypso seems fine. Maybe a little sleepy. Does she? <gasps> oh, Calypso. She looks sad. Calypso! What have I done? I am so sorry. I guess I've been so envious of my friends having their own phones, and I've been saving up my allowance for so long, it was kind of overwhelming to finally get one. That's no excuse for forgetting your blanket. Oh, Calypso, you are my dearest, most precious friend. Can you forgive me? <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> cool. Aw, so sweet. <laughs> Somebody's glad to have you back. We're glad to have you back too, Molly. Here. I don't know what I'd do without all of you either. Here we go. Where's that mute button? I owe all of you a big apology too. You've all had your phones for a while. Just fill me in on the do's and don'ts tip list. Uh, after all this, maybe we need to be filled in on that tip list, too. And if I forget, I know who will set me straight. You can count on it. So, can I have a do-over? Try to make things right? What kind of a do-over? You'll see. Ready to ride? <laughs> yeah! Where's she going? Come on. Come on, Will. Go. Molly. We'll see you there. Come on! Hiya! Calypso. She'll be okay now, won't she? She sure eats like it. If you hadn't come in, I don't know if I would have noticed that Calypso didn't have a blanket. 
Well, I... What did I tell you, Teeny? Stop simpering! Be assertive! But I was being rude and uncaring to Calypso. And if you think being sorry is simpering, I don't think I want to have any more of your assertiveness training. <laughs> Rudeness is a subject I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Tina. You had something important to say, and you did it by being assertive without being rude. I'm impressed. Huh. Maybe I did learn something useful from that cat. <laughs>